So I'm back. It's Saturday morning. I'm going through some stuff here. Got a couple more boxes emptied out. This one, the only thing in it is this easel. So, and it's all open. I'm just going to bring this back to the warehouse. Um, I think I showed you the blocks yesterday. We got this stuff priced and ready. Working on this next. Found some more of those. Little bowling sets, some puzzles. Uh, so basically, five bucks. I don't know what I'm going to price those at. Uh, $1.99, $2.99. Um, and then this is just going to be varying prices. Get some other larger items there. There's not really much else to report. Oh, that's right. I need to get those in the system. Okay. Forgot about that. That's why I put the post-it on it. So making some decent progress here. My hope is in the next couple of hours to be done with all the toys. Then I can go get the trailer and bring more inventory. I expect the toys to run all the way down here. I haven't decided if I'm going to put them on there yet. But at the very least, all the way down this wall. That is going to be other stuff. Um, I've been putting some of the toys in here. We're pretty much a toy store at this point. Uh, like that. And then... That there, some over here, not a whole lot to report. These are all, they need to be hung up. So I'm waiting until I have a some sort of fixture here where I can hang things. I got all of the extra sheets and there were like some extra of the blocks and stuff I put in the back. Maybe all of them. Yeah, that's empty. So that's pretty much it. That's where we're at right now. So I really hate this. This is the only section that's like that. Everything else looks pretty nice. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way I can eliminate this. I might, I'm, I'm kind of tempted, this one-off type stuff. Maybe just box it up for the warehouse sale. Sucks I already priced it, both time and presentation for the warehouse sale, but like this looks much better. Even when they're like that, when I've got a bunch of them, I put them face forward. It looks much nicer like that. This area up here, it just looks so much nicer than this. So I think I might pull these for the warehouse sale unless I can think of a better way to display them. I can put some of them, you know, on like these shelves. I might do that. Another option is to make all of this look nice like that and have that just the loose one-off toys that, you know, don't fit well. I might actually do that. Use this shelf for that and then the ones that are faced nicely would go along here. All right, this is mostly empty. I'm gonna leave that there because I'm pretty sure I've got more. And then I'll leave these how they are. Um, and we'll just get some nicer faced items along there. For instance, these, these will look nice. So I'm going through these toys here. What I decided I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort all of these because there are a lot of duplicates, stuff that I already did. For example, I already did two of those and stacked them here. I'm gonna just try and sort them all. But I realized this one here, clearly I'm the one who packed this. Why? Because, um, well, I'll enjoy the freebie. I know I've done that before. I think I shipped my keys to someone once too. All right, it may look like more of a mess, but it's actually organized now. That box is empty, by the way. I just I didn't break it down yet because I started using it as a table. But we got through all of the boxes. These two, I decided all the one-offs that don't really stack well or display well are going back to the warehouse. Um, they're going to be, you know, stuff like this, this. This is gonna be warehouse sale stuff. And it's good stuff. Like this is decent, but I only have one of them. So it's just gonna look like Goodwill on the shelves. Ignore this mess and this, I'm just using the shelves to set stuff for now. Um, so a lot of that stuff is going back to the warehouse. We will need some of this for the next warehouse sale. This will work well for it. Look at all these mixers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got a stack of 10 there. I've got three more on the shelf. Um, then I've got 17 missing the boxes. There are so many of them. There's also this dust sweep and mop. There's two different package designs. Probably their old design, their new one. There's Six of them there. I've got another six in the back room. And I think three or four on display there. Um, now, as I was going through it, I found a lot of things that I already have on the shelf. 
For example, these, I already have one. Those I mentioned earlier, I found three more there. Remember I said I was gonna find more of those? There's seven more. Um, I thought these were the same at first. Nope, one's a crib, one's a bed. Uh, found another one of those. A ton of these easels. All of those are the tabletop easels, except for the one in the back, there's three looms. And then we've got more easels over here. This, I don't know if I'm gonna put in here, I don't know how well it'll display, it's wooden blocks inside of a crate, it's missing the box. Uh, this box, is another one buried under there, and this one is the items that are missing pieces or damaged or something like that, uh, that'll go on that pallet. And I've got a whole bunch of this stack of those in the rugs. And then this is full as well of these. It's the same things we saw in a box there, but they're loose. I'm thinking I'll put a dump bin out and sell these for like 99 cents. Uh, what else? That's all the little art kits that we need to hang up. Just some random odds. I mean, this is cool stuff. This is stuff that will sell. Down here, we've got some grilling sets. I might put these in the front. They're obviously toy grilling sets, but I might put them in the front with some of that grilling seasoning and whatnot. So it's gonna look nice. Um, found another one of those, the hopscotch sets. Uh, oh yeah, over here, I found a white table and two chairs, a brown table and a multicolored chair. I don't know if I'm gonna sell those here or not. They're gonna take up a decent amount of space. They might be better to send to an auction. I already told the auction company in Michigan that I was gonna send them a pallet of this Melissa and Doug stuff. So maybe I'll send that to them, who knows. Then this is, I think it's like an easel or a loom or something. It's big and it's loose in the box. So I'm just gonna bring that to the warehouse. Um, but it's gonna look nice. Now once, the next step is to get all of this stuff priced and either put on the shelf or put in back stock. Um, those, the dust sweep and mop kit and the mixers, all of those are going in back stock. And it looks like there were two different package designs. Um, here's something interesting, the same style. And I saw these when I was building pallets to sell. We've got the coffee maker set. It looks like a Keurig. And then we've got a blender set too, but unfortunately we've only got two and one in here and they're uh, missing packaging. Uh, and then all this is dress up stuff. A lot of this is this chef's uniform. I think three is enough. I might uh, put the rest in back stock, but we've also got like construction worker, firefighter, police officer. I think there's a princess one here. So we'll probably hang those there where the ugly Christmas sweaters were. Uh, the, these two, both of them look just like this. They're still factory sealed. Uh, this one might be stretch wrapped. That one's factory sealed though. They just came loose, it's poor design. Yeah, now that I look at it, I think this is stretch wrap. It's tough to tell, but anyways, I think I can still sell them. Uh, we've got some quilt kits. These blocks, 24, I already have the 40 pack and the 30 pack out. I think I'm gonna back stock those until we sell out of the other ones. And then this is all the empty boxes. Uh, they're not gonna fit. Look, how, I can't imagine what they paid for these. Big boxes from Uline are pricey, but um, I wish there was something I could do with them. I can't ship anything in them. Um, and they're not really the best for building pallets. So they're just gonna get recycled, I guess. They're huge. 32 by 24 by 24. Um, that's basically what they look like. You can see it's a decent sized box. Um, anyways, so the next step is to get all this stuff organized, priced, and on shelves. I decided toys are just going to be this. Bed sheets to the end. This I'm going to use for other stuff, and I've got a little gap here. And then those two sections I'm going to use for other stuff. And I thought about putting the light fixtures here, but I might at some point expand the light fixtures, so I'll just leave them there. And then I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with this center area. Obviously we've got a lot of those. I'm gonna need some sort of fixture that hangs. So, you know, with pegs, with hooks and whatnot for those. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I don't have a lot of clothes that I really wanna bring here. Um, see with clothing, if I'm just doing random clothing, I need a huge space. And that's, you know, part of me was thinking about staying here longer, if I can make enough money here, because the rent is so cheap. My total overhead here, rent, utilities, those storage units in the back, payroll, everything, all in is about $2,000 a month here. That is nothing. So my thought is just leave it here 
and, and spend 2000 a month running it. And I'm pretty much hands off where I rarely need to come here, maybe once a week to bring some extra inventory here, once a month, something like that. So I can be relatively hands off and just kind of monitor it remotely. I could do that because it's cheap or move to a larger space. Now I'll be maybe a little more hands-on if we're spending now eight, 10 grand a month, more employees, more space. I don't know. But anyways, with clothing, I really need a larger space so I can have a space twice the size of this whole building or this whole unit sales for whatever, just for clothing, because you need to have a variety. You need to have all different sizes. It needs to be organized. I really can't do one rack of clothing here unless it's something where they're all the same. Like I've got those, you've seen me sell them here and there on eBay, those denim Levi's vests. I could put a rounder in here. They're all the same thing. And then just different sizes. I could put a rounder with those in here, but that's really all I can think of. I've got a bunch of swimsuits, but I think those will do just as well in the, in the warehouse sale. And those suck to hang. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this center space. Initially I was thinking apparel. Now I'm thinking less apparel. I would like to have it something that can be moved, something on wheels, just in case we do decide to have events in here where we'll set up some tables, kind of like how she was doing it before. But I'm excited. I'm very excited. I have a lot of work left to do. It is Saturday at just a hair before one o'clock. And um, Mrs. Rabbit's driving uh, our convertible. She says uh, her hair is absolutely trashed. Uh, anyways, it's just before one Saturday. I'm not working Sunday, or at least I really don't want to. I've got Monday, and then we open at two o'clock. The hours are two to seven. Yeah, I know. It's Tuesday through Saturday, two to seven. Weird hours, but that's how she was actually two to six before I extended it an hour, and she does have a full-time job which I'm trying to get her to quit to work here full time, but I'd like to wait until I know that I'm gonna keep this running. Anyways, getting off topic. So that means I've got the rest of the day today. I've got uh, all day Monday, Sunday if I really need it, but I'd rather not. And then Tuesday morning, I don't wanna be here doing stuff Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, I want it to be like final touches um, because that's really cutting it close. But uh, I think we can get all of these toys processed in the next hour, hour and a half. Then I'll go to the warehouse, get the trailer and load up on all the stuff that I bought from the auction the other day. And then I've got some other stuff in the warehouse, some summer stuff, some cleaning products and whatnot, like laundry detergent that I'll bring over here. I think I might be able to get the bulk of it done today. I think I can. So we're just about done with the toys. I don't need to do this furniture yet. And by that, I mean, I need to make a decision on it. There are a few things in here and a couple over here that I haven't priced yet. Like I've already priced those. In fact, those might be the only thing on the shelf that is priced. No, nope, those are too. Um, but over here, we're basically done. This looks really nice. I have to fill this little crevice up here and I'd like to get something down there. Um, but it's looking really nice and then i'm leaving this empty intentionally the carpets i'm going to put here uh that's going to be this display right there uh these i might just decide to get rid of i was going to put them here and see if maybe i'll be able to sell them honestly i doubt they're going to sell maybe a couple here and there but because it, it was just melissa and doug to be fine but it has a picture of two kids on it so no one's gonna wanna put it in their kid's room because it's not their kids. I figured maybe someone would want it for the poster board, but honestly, I can probably better use this space uh, because I put all those down there. Um, I've got some bigger toys here, three loom kits, uh, whatever that is, blocks or something, and then the crib that I need to find a place for. And then I've got this stack other than this one, uh, other than these top ones, actually, Never mind that. These need to go somewhere. This, I didn't realize this was the stickers. I've got some of these over here. So that's what I gotta figure out, that stuff. And then the furniture, whether or not I'm gonna keep it in here. I don't know, but it's looking really nice. Let's take a step back over here. 
That's looking really nice, and I'm really excited about it. The top shelf is mostly back stock. Um, we've got the trucks, the dolls, the vacuum, and then these two. Everything, oh, I gotta price those yet. Everything on top is uh, has a place down here somewhere. It's just extra. I could potentially do something else with those too and put another box or something there. But it looks really nice. I am very happy with it. I just need to figure out this stuff. Figured out the shelf problem. I wish I figured it out before I filled all this up. I've got some of these. They're actually made to go on the front of shelves. So if you have stuff to keep it from falling off, for instance, a good application for that would be these so they don't fall forward. But they fit. They don't fit great because they're not made for this brand. But they do fit back here. So that'll create a backer. I don't want to put it on all the shelves because I'm losing what, three, four inches of, of space there. Stuff that, you know, bigger items that can go all the way to the wall. I want to put them all the way to the wall, but for smaller stuff, these will work well. I don't have a lot of these. There's that one. And then these, and these are actually brand new. And then some other things. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got eight of them. I might be able to scrounge up a few more at the warehouse. I scrapped most of them. I had hundreds upon hundreds. I wouldn't be surprised if I had 2,000 of these things. But when I got rid of my store, I never really used them much in the store. So I figured shelving the warehouse, I won't need them. So I got rid of them. I don't remember if I scrapped them or gave them to whoever bought the shelving, but nonetheless, now I need them. But I did save a box just in case I did need them. I might have some more laying around in the warehouse. So at least that solves that problem. I would rather extend the shelf back, but that'll at least keep stuff, because I know so many things are gonna fall behind those shelves and it's gonna be so frustrating. I've got, what, 45 shelves in here, I think. That would be if the lighting was had the five shelves. So yeah, that's, uh, that'll work. So I'm at warehouse number one grabbing stuff. We've got all these pool floats, and if you remember, I've got two 10 foot shelves full. That one's full as well. So I'm just grabbing a small sampling for now. I got these out of Walmart last year for 10 cents each on clearance. These came out of Office Depot and I've got hundreds. They're wooden pencil cups. Uh, let's see, we got some plastic spoons, some of this underwear. Uh, we've got cologne. Wow, that is a small bottle. We've got cookie presses, and there's some loom kits in there. We've got some items out of Dollar General here, all this Badger's stuff and the light bulbs. We've got off of other pallets, we've got laundry detergent. There's the flings, they're like pods. These things, a whole bunch of these foot baths. And then uh, cupcake tins, and then these fit board things. So I'm going to haul all this over there, but we've got to go to warehouse number two to get other stuff. All right, we're at warehouse number two. Over there is mostly just the Melissa and Doug, the lighting and the bed sheets, which we already did. I've got all of this, not the black and red boxes, but all these other pallets. Uh, I'm basically grabbing a box from each one to bring over there. Um, some of them have a couple different, like this one has a couple different things, so I'll probably grab a couple boxes off of it. Uh, but this is all the stuff that came from Hanson's. So we can uh, load up on this. And I forgot to bring a knife. Oh, uh, there might be a knife here somewhere. So almost everything from Hanson's cost me less than a dollar per item. That includes the big spider ball games that were over there, they're in the store. Here's 3D viewers, basically a VR headset. Um, I've got 564 of them here and they cost me less than a buck each. I think I probably paid like, I don't know. I think I paid up for this one a little bit. There were like three pallets and I didn't want to pay more than a dollar each. I think I was probably pretty close, maybe 75 to 90 cents per. I'm gonna grab one case of 12. Here's the most expensive pallet I bought. There are 2,400 Bluetooth speakers, 52 a case. Uh, the employee said that when they were loading the truck after I bought them, that this of all the speakers they had was their best one. But I paid I think this might have actually been over a buck. I paid $22.50 plus a 15% buyer's fee. So it might have been just a hair over, like a dollar two or a dollar three each. I think I should have no problem getting five bucks each. 
So, I mean, once I sell this whole pallet, that's going to be close to $10,000. Uh, but it'll probably take quite a while to sell it. I have no clue how many of these I have, but it's a uh, sunglasses camera. It looks like all of these on the bottom here are the sunglasses cameras, so. I might price these at like 10 bucks. I don't know. So I'm digging out these pallets and I set the knife down right here. That goes all the way down to the floor. This is a six or seven foot tall pallet. That's fun. So I'm sitting here looking for the pallet jack and it's on here on these keychains. I'm thinking to myself, I don't remember using it to move keychains because I last used it to load up those bed sheets. Then I realized there's a tractor missing. If you recall, there was a giant tractor here before. They got this out of here. Somehow, you know, the wheelbase went basically from that pallet to that one. Somehow they drove it through here and was able to get it around that corner. That is crazy. You can see the, now that I see it, notice it, you can see the tire tracks where they were trying to maneuver around this corner. That's, uh, well, that gains me some extra space. I can fit half a truckload there now. For those of you that don't remember, uh, part of my agreement with this warehouse, uh, because it really wasn't for rent, yeah, they have a for lease sign on the front, but are they really trying? Not really. Um, they have a bunch of equipment, including that crane there. So part of my agreement was uh, they get to keep their equipment in there, in here. That's why you see boats and sports cars and dirt bikes and tractors and all that in here. None of that's mine. But uh, you do see, or they do get to keep that in here. But every time they pull something out, I get a little bit more space. And I just realized something. This would look nice in the store, mounted on the wall above all that stuff. I think I'm going to bring this. Came on one of the pallets. That'll make it look nice and professional. Okay, so I'm confused. I just moved this pallet and the knife isn't on the floor. I wonder if it's on one of the boards under here. I'm not seeing it. That's weird. Maybe it's being dragged. Let's try lifting the pallet higher. Found it. You see it's sitting right on there. So uh, I think the easiest way is just to slide something under and knock it off. I might be able to reach under it. This pallet isn't very heavy. If it lands on my hand, it won't hurt too bad. Ding, 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 ding. Got it. All right, we are all loaded up. Once again, didn't even put a dent in here, but a uh, lot of inventory. I theoretically wouldn't need to buy inventory for the store for a long time. Honestly, some of this could take years to sell, and I don't plan on holding on to it for years. I'll sell it in the warehouse sale to get rid of the bulk of it. You guys smell that? Oh, it smells so good. So a uh, popular restaurant a couple blocks away burned to the ground today, and it just smells. I want to have a bonfire so bad. Now, I suppose I should clarify. The restaurant closed like a year ago, and the fire department was there doing a controlled burn for training. But it still smells so good. All right, got all this stuff out trailer, all the boxes, and that's the stuff going back. Um, and then, I'll show you what it looks like in here. So I'm having the door propped open for half an hour. This stuff is everywhere. If you're not from the area, or the region, I should say, we have trees that you can kind of see it flying around out there, cottonwood trees. And that makes it look like it's snowing. That's how we get snow in the summer. We also had a frost warning last night, no joke. Uh, so we cleared out all the cardboard that was here. These need to get rolled up and put into there. All that I have left of the toys to do is this, which I'm thinking is gonna go by that window. And then here's all the stuff, or most of the stuff I brought over. We've got this here. Um, is that something? No. So we got all that. Oh, I gotta get this out of here too. We got these two stacks and all this up here. So I don't know how much of this I'm gonna get done yet today. I'm gonna start and uh, I'll show you my progress. After this, I'll have one day left though, so I don't want to uh, call it too early. Although I might run home. I gotta run to the warehouse to drop off the truck and trailer. I might run home, put on some shorts. It was supposed to be, we had a frost warning last night. It was supposed to be like 60 degrees today. Well, this says 64. There is absolutely no way. It feels like it's 80. 
It is hot out. So anyways, I'm gonna go change into some shorts and drop this truck off. So I still have to label most of these, but these came in nice retail display cases here. Uh, we've got four different colors. It's even 50% off, 1999. I'm probably gonna price them at five each. And then we've got these here, which I've already priced. I wonder if they're the same 2000. Yep, they're both 2000. They even have these little hooks. So you can attach them to the back here and actually hang it. And I thought about putting one of these on here, but I figured it looked too tacky competing with this. So I decided against it. But anyways, these look really nice. And I think I've got maybe 30 cents into each one. So I'll have a, a nice markup. I've got a few thousand, at least 2,000 uh, total. I think I have some too. I must not have brought them to have flashlights built in. So I still need to price those. By the way, it's Monday now. We open tomorrow. I still need to price those, but that's kind of what this is going to look like. This stuff is in the way, but the spider ball is underneath. Uh, that's basically what this area is going to look like. We've got these, which is a local Manitowoc County Youth Sports. It's the next county over, maybe two counties over. I got them cheap. I'm pricing them for five bucks. Maybe someone is involved with this and they get a great deal. Otherwise, someone just wants a nice insulated mug and it's a good deal. I've got somewhere between six and 700 of these Aaron Rodgers mugs. I priced them at nine bucks. These are pretty nice. I got them super cheap too, surprisingly cheap. I spent like 1300 and I got somewhere between six and 700 of those and then somewhere between six and 700 of the Bluetooth speakers. This, I haven't priced these. They're gonna be more here. I just wanted to put those for space. I've got three bucks for these mushroom speakers. I took them out. They're two different colors, black and blue, um, much like the Detroit Lions after playing against the Packers, black and blue. Um, these are suction cups. So they're kind of neat. So when they're out of the box here, they stick up there. When they're out of the box, you can actually see them. So I took one out for each. Then we've got these Bluetooth speakers as well, priced at four bucks. These are the ones I said I got between six and 700 of. Uh, I haven't priced them yet. Again, just put some here for spacing. And then these light switch night lights, I think I've got like 1400 of these. I might try to bulk sell some, but I've got them for three bucks. It's just, I wanna put batteries. They're three different colors and there's nothing on the box that says what color it is. You have to open the box to see. So I sorted them by color, but you just hit the switch and the back lights up like that. Run on AAA batteries. I'm gonna get some AAA batteries so we can have some in the three that I have on display. These came 10 cents each from Dollar General when they closed. Um, I put them at two bucks. I've got more, th I've got three of these that are full and one that's about half. So I might grab a second one to put on there just so it looks a little bit more full. Again, these are just there for spacing and then all of these are priced. And then back here, I did more of the mugs, the two types of mugs here. And then I've got the back stock for the Rogers ones. I've got another case of these, um, I think about 36 or something to a case. We'll, we'll wait until we move those out. I think these Rogers ones are going to do really well because people love that guy for some reason. I've got a ton of Badgers stuff here as well, too, that came from Dollar General that I'll have to get priced and out. Uh, what else? That's pretty much all I've done so far. I brought this from the warehouse. This I got for free when uh, I bought out Target's Halloween stuff. They let me have it. And I just kind of, I don't remember if I used it in my old store, but I had it around that time. I just kind of held on to it. You never know if I'll have a use for it. I was thinking maybe sorting things in the warehouse, but it'll work well, very well here. I'm thinking like these pop sockets, maybe some of that Badger stuff can go in there. So I don't know if that's where it's gonna stay, but we'll put it somewhere. These are really coming in handy because this little stuff you know would fall off the back. So that's really coming in handy to put a backing there. And you know, I was thinking it looks nicer this way, but if I run out, I could just take a board, like a one by four, and like zip tie it or something to this, then run it straight across if I needed to. The merchandise blocks, I know, is, look, you don't even see it here. Okay, I suppose you see it a little bit there, but it wouldn't be that big of a deal if I needed more. What else? I think that's about it. Um, I've got stuff to do here now. I, I've got uh, my work cut out for me. So the idea is the shelves are gonna be items that I have decent quantity in. And then these glass cases, I've got one, two, 
and three, oh, and four, there's one up there, uh, will be items that I'm not really deep in that I've only got a few of so we can display them nicely, kind of how the other consigners have it, uh, where there's not a ton. I've got this one. I'm renting out the top shelf, I think 15 bucks a month to this lady. I don't know how long she's going to stay. She's selling these bags for 15 bucks. They're handmade, but I don't know. I'm not going to throw her out because it's one shelf. It doesn't really bother me that much. But uh, if I wouldn't be surprised if she leaves uh, just because I don't know how well those are going to do. I suppose if she sells one a month, she breaks even. I really don't know. Uh, and then this stuff is all mine that I'm getting from the distributor. I need to get this priced yet. Uh, we just have these on here, so I need to actually price them. And that is, I'm told, cheaper than the grocery store. This was the only contract that I got or the only distributor agreement that I got from the store. It's the only one they had. But uh, she said that was moving really well. And she said those gift boxes did really well around Christmas time. And then here's another vendor. Um, so this area here is going to be just kind of, it's the first thing you see when you walk in the door. You walk in, you see this. Summer fun is what we're going for now, but you know, like around Halloween, we'll fill it with Halloween. Uh, Christmas, will fill it with Christmas. It's really gonna be seasonal. It's gonna be stuff, a lot of the stuff is gonna be on shelves and some of it will just be brought up here. I might even do it with some of the vendor's items to kind of fill it up. I just realized I'm competing here with this person. I wonder what she's selling these for. 12 bucks. That's probably the same. These little ones are 750. So I'm not really competing with her. The prices are on par. These are similar to these Manitowoc ones, but hers are bigger and hers actually have something amusing on it. Something that someone would want. This isn't. So it's not really an issue. And then these ones are nine, which they're about the same size as that. But obviously this is Honestly, it's tough to say which one's better. Uh, from a sales perspective, I feel like a lot of people are going to want this because Packers, Aaron Rodgers. But at the same time, that's a better mug. If you were just, if there was nothing printed on them, this is going to be a better one. So I don't think we're competing too hard with this person. I'm trying not to compete against. These two are my favorite vendors, which I, why I put them on the front because I might not make much from them, but it's stuff that's going to draw people into the store. You know, that handcrafted local type stuff so i want to keep these two so i don't want to upset them the ones that have just random stuff that's mine the ones that have just random stuff i'm not too worried about losing these are handmade so i'd like to keep this person but i really don't know how well this stuff is going to sell i have my employee coming in to price the jewelry she used to own the store uh she's coming in today to price the jewelry a lot of it doesn't have price tags she was selling it uh, based on the size, I don't remember, she had like a formula. So the necklaces, it was like a dollar, two dollars an inch or something like that. So I'm going to have her come in and price it and that'll allow me to train her on the system. I still need to fill out those shelves though and figure out something for the middle. So I've got a lot of work ahead of me yet today. Look at this car. So anyways, it's really dark. That is a pretty neat car. It's really dark on the windows. It's going to look so much better. The window decals should be delivered or installed today. And then this is going to be blocked with the bottom one. I looked at the picture and you'll see once they're installed, I think it's going to be green covering the bottom half. I think it's a little bright. I don't, I'm not in love with the color. Might redo that at some point if I stay longer, but um, it'll cover up all that ugliness. So I still have quite a bit of work to go. Well, first of all, let me show you this. I'm not in love with the green. The green against the brick looks like Mario, but that's up, this is up, and then we put that. You can see it almost matches the font of that one, but they're all different. Uh, but it didn't even have an address or anything, so we got that up. And then inside, here's what you see walking in. We've got some Badger stuff. This came out of Dollar General, uh, the mugs. That came from Hanson's. We got some Walgreens stuff right here. And then, let's see, this is pretty much all the same here. This is gonna go, I've just been using it as a doorstop. Uh, and I think we'll probably put these two outside whenever we're open. So moving down here, that cart is gonna go. This is pretty much all how you saw it before, nothing new. 
All the toys, again, nothing new. We filled out this shelf. Uh, you guys remember some of the underwear, put that in. More mugs. Uh, this came out of Walmart. That came on one of those blue wrap pallets, if you remember. These came out of Hanson's, that came out of Hanson's, as well as this stuff up here. Um, that came on the blue wrap pallet. And then we've just got back stock up there. And then over here, you know, still have the lighting, but this is all filled out. Uh, these came from Meyer, and coincidentally, there were open bottles. So we're going to use those as testers. I'll put a little label on it that says tester. This is Voyage. There's Voyage, Blue Ambition. There's another one just called Blue. Um, I'm sure they're all similar enough, but I'm not going to open one to make a tester. Um, I don't know what I'm going to price these. It looks like they were 11 in the store, so maybe like six fifty or something. Uh, we've got more Walgreens stuff down here. Remember this? I bought one for 8 bucks at Goodwill, and two days later, I got half a pallet of them. Uh, we've got some foot baths. I've got a whole bunch of these. Um, it's got a mirror in it, so you can kind of see it angled down. So you put stuff in it, and it's hidden. It's magic. Uh, Bluetooth speakers, some smart watches, odds and ends here. These wouldn't fit on the bottom shelf, so they just had to go on the top. But everything else up here is back stock. The plan is to have all this stuff priced, but that's probably not going to be until later in the week. Um, so... If a customer buys it, we're just gonna have to find one with a tag. Uh, what else? I added a few items here. I did a little bit over here, got rid of some of the stuff that was on the bottom. Over here, we've got more Melissa and Doug. Uh, these came out of Shopco and they smell like cookies and it's amazing. Um, I've been sitting on them because I knew I could do more than well, I forgot about them when I had the last warehouse sale. I put them away when we were just doing dollar sales. I knew I could do more than that. Uh, just random stuff. Everything on here is mine. All the used stuff came with the store. Um, what else? We've got these over here. I'm going to move this. It's a little tight. I'm going to get rid of this rack and put this on one of the shelves back there, ultimately. Uh, what else? My uh, star employee came in. She's been pricing jewelry for the past couple of hours. All the jewelry in the case. I just told her, most of it didn't have price tags on it. I just told her price it, whatever you think is going to sell. Because I don't know what this stuff would go for. We've got some up here, like this thing. Four bucks she has for that. The rings. Uh, 20, but that's sterling. That's sterling, so... And then all of these jewelry displays are mine too. I didn't even think about that when I went through it. Now going in the back, we've got these mirrors. I've got a whole bunch of them that came on a Target palette. I only brought five. And then we've got paper goods. This is all napkins. I had to retape almost all of these boxes, the bottoms, because they were kind of falling apart. I need more roll towels to fill this out. And then these are more of those napkins. That's gonna disappear before we open. I'm just using it to move stuff around now. This stuff is all going behind the counter, but we were able to push that up against the wall, which gives a decent walkway through here. And then we've got this. This rack came out of Toys R Us. We've got some posters that you can color in, some other larger toys down there. These are popcorn molds or forms, so you can make shapes out of the popcorn. And then more of this Melissa and Doug you know, arts and crafts stuff. I was gonna go with uh, a hanging fixture like this that was just flat and you could put stuff on both sides, but I think this looks nicer. Um, and that's pretty much it. This is gonna go, I'm not gonna get rid of it. It's a nice one. You can see it's got the metal base and everything. Uh, it's cloth. And then the dress is mine too. I forgot to grab it when I got all the clothes out of here, but Tim's actually been listing some of it on eBay. So we should make a little bit of money off of that, but I'm gonna probably just shove this in the back room for now. And that's it. There's not much else to show. I still need to organize that. I need to get these cords all running inside of here so it doesn't look terrible. But with this here, I'll show you again, you don't see all the cords hanging down anymore. I really don't love the collar, but the reason I had this done was just to hide 
you know, the side of the register looked ugly or the side of the counter looked ugly and all the cords hanging down. So now you don't have that anymore. Really the only cord you'll see that needs to be tacked back up there, but it's going to be the cord coming off of here that will run along the side. So that looks nice. This looks amazing. They almost match the font perfectly. So you see that and then you see this up here. It's just the, the F is a little different in craft. See how it loops down there. Up here it doesn't. But um, I'm probably not gonna keep the name. I really don't like the name, but I'm just gonna go with it for now. Replacing this is gonna cost me like 20 bucks. So that's not that big of a deal. Same with the hours. If I change the hours, I can replace those pretty cheap. We got giant pizzas. Um, I like this idea how you have, before, if you remember, she had that little spool sitting down here with like four or five items on it. There wasn't much. This gives you something really to look at when you come in. And the store, I think it just looks great. Another thing, so I still have 13 pallets of those bed sheets. I haven't yet to sell one. The store, I bought them for the warehouse sale. The store, we're gonna move a lot of them, but I might have another truckload coming next week. Thankfully, of different colors. Um, but that should be, we're gonna have bed sheets for days. We actually had a customer come in today while we were working. Uh, I don't know if it was the graphics that made them see us or what, but uh, we had to send them away and say, come back tomorrow. But they said it looked like a nice store. Um, I did ask her, this pottery person actually set up right before she closed due to the health crisis. So it's tough to say whether or not any of it's going to sell or whether or not this person will stick around. We'll find out, I guess. Evidently, this person's handmade blankets do sell pretty well, especially around Christmas. So I'm not really making much off of these 5%, but I am uh, getting 40 bucks a month for this space or 35 or whatever she was charging. I'm going to keep the rates the same for now. Um, I would like to get rid of this. This isn't mine. This belongs to this person. I might tell them they got to take that because this person also has stuff hanging on these as well. I don't know how well this person's going to do. Also, I called this a candy dish in a video a little while back and I was corrected. It's a fairy lamp. I do not know a lot about glassware. But um, that's that's what that is, I guess. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. I think it looks really nice. It looks like with the shelves face like this, it looks so nice. It's not gonna look like this after the customers come, but this isn't gonna be like the warehouse sales. I don't think it's gonna be totally trashed going through. I'm really excited. We open tomorrow at 2 p.m. I still have to price a lot of this stuff, so I'm gonna be here for a couple more hours yet. It's 7.30 p.m. Uh, I don't know if I showed you these. Yeah, I think I did. I need to get batteries for the, uh, the sample ones that are out. But a lot of this stuff still needs to be priced. So that's gonna be the next couple of hours, and then tomorrow, this can be pulled out. I don't know how much she knows about retail and facing shelves, that's something I'll have to teach her if she doesn't pull everything to the front, especially in areas like this where I put stacked them up so these wouldn't fall off the back. As these sell, we'll have to pull some down from there. But I'm really excited. The store, I think it looks great. I think we really maximize space and I think we're gonna move a lot of product out of this small and very inexpensive space. As far as this is concerned, this looks really nice because all of these are the same. Once these sell, I'm not going to have a lot of identical ones. It's going to be more mismatched. And some might work, like how these fit with that and everything, but it won't look as nice. But that's basically what this area is going to be for now. I thought about putting some sort of fixture here instead of putting these, but I want to sell through a lot of this stuff. And, um, I mean, there's, what, 16 of them there. I'm getting 20 bucks each, or at least that's what I'm going to go for. That's 320 bucks just for this row. I, I'm, I'd be hard pressed to get that with any fixture. Like this isn't gonna make me 320 bucks. So, you know, I think this will work for now and we can swap it out. You know, I've got cups and other containers and other paper goods and stuff as well. Uh, I've got a ton of these, so hopefully these do well. I don't know what I'm gonna price, man. I have to look up to see what they're even worth. I'm, I'm excited. Oh, before I forget, I'm gonna move this. This is garbage. And I keep forgetting, look at that. If you remember when I dropped this off the truck, 
It had those in it, some of them busted open. So we're eating those, but I need to throw that away because I keep forgetting every time I bring a trash run back. I'm really excited. It's such a nice looking store. It is Tuesday, it's about 10 a.m. We open in four hours. I'm still pricing. I've got all of this done. I've got that done. I've got these middle areas done. I made this, that looks nice for the uh, toweling here. I still need to do th that shelf. I need to do those coloring pads. I need to do these and then this section of the bottom shelf. I need to do most of that shelf. The water stuff here and then uh, the candles and the thermoses and then I'm done. Oh, and this and then I'm done. Then everything will be priced. I got everything else. I even remembered to get the rugs. Some of these, these things are like 70 bucks new. I priced them at 15. And then these smaller ones, they vary in price, but I'm less than half retail on all of them. Especially on these, because these are supposed to come with some cars like that. I think I'm $7.99 when retail is like 30. And then $9.99 when retail is 30 if I have the cars. These I haven't discounted too much. I did eight bucks. They're normally 10. Same with those. I looked them up on the Target app. That's what Target's selling them for. Uh, beyond that, nothing special. I have been getting some of the top stuff priced. Most of that's done, and I did remember to do those. Um, all that's up here that isn't priced is this, those, and this box. None of that's priced. But the stuff on the top doesn't need to be priced because it's just back stock. Particularly, what I'm doing is if it's just loose inventory i'm still trying to price it if it's in a box i'm not just because of time but uh, my plan is at noon wherever i'm at that's when i stop because i need to finish getting the cash register set up including running all these cords and stuff inside of it so it looks nicer and then i need to get this microwave and this table put behind the counter as well as this box of stuff that was with it um so and then i gotta set up the receipt in the system so it has the store name and everything oh i gotta get rid of that so at noon i'm done pricing and i'm gonna get everything else set up and then once i'm done with that i'll go back to pricing maybe we'll be open by that time who knows but um making some decent progress here she has been doing jewelry uh my employee yesterday today i uh will probably have her hop back on, on jewelry I don't expect a lot of customers coming through the door because we haven't advertised at all uh, other than a couple of posts on the Facebook page that only has like 200 or 400 followers. The idea is it's kind of a soft opening, make sure there aren't any issues with the system or the software so we can get all ready. And next week, that's when I really start promoting our grand opening. It's not going to be like a grand opening event, but I'll really start promoting it next week, maybe late this week. I just want to make sure everything's situated and ready and there are no issues before we have a ton of traffic come through. I'm flying through. This is 10.35. This is done. That's done. That's done. All I have left is this glass case, some of which is already done. Those are done and those are done, but I think everything else needs to be done. I have to do this case, which again is just the candles and the two thermos, thermos eye, thermoses, and then the sticker pads. That's it. That's all I need to price. Uh, I think I'm going to get done before my goal of noon. I got this stuff done. Um, this was surprisingly easy. I thought this was going to be a pain because it's a bunch of little small things, but that wasn't so bad. So, I like these little stickers. If you remember, I got these on clearance at Walmart for 10 cents each last year. I bought 485 of them, and I remember that because the highway that I used to take when I lived in Charlotte was Highway 485. Anyways, I bought 485 of them. This would be $48.50 plus tax, so about 50 bucks. And I have barely sold any. Of course, I bought them in the middle of winter, and it's now summer. But also, the barely any that I've sold, I've already doubled my money. So the remaining 400 or 380 or however many I have left were free. So it really doesn't matter if they sell or not. 99 cents is retail on those. But I think that's cheap enough. People will grab them. Uh, those, same brand actually, but coincidentally, those came on Walmart pallets, as did that. Um, so, yeah, we're uh, making some good progress. Now, when I'm done, if I still have time, 
This is store stuff, the SS. These are people's uh, consigner numbers or vendor numbers. Anything that's SS is mine because the store owned it before. Right now I'm set up where I can do, do this because that's what we're doing with vendors, just using their ID. Okay, it doesn't have one. That's something we're gonna need to work on because she may have known who each vendor's item is. I don't. Uh, let's get a better example. This one here, the vendor number is NAS19. So anyways, stuff like that, we can just type in the price and the vendor number and it's already priced, the stuff that I own here. Most of it I gave to Goodwill, but there are some items like this I think we'll sell and some little odds and ends here and the jewelry. So maybe I'll go through and price that stuff afterwards uh, just so there are scannable tags on it. But I'm not doing vendors items. I decided I'm gonna let vendors just keep doing their thing and put their vendor ID on it. Um, I'm just pricing store owned stuff and my stuff. What I'm actually doing, all of this stuff, this store is a separate LLC from my corporation. Uh, so my corporation, my main company that has eBay and everything else, is uh, consigning this stuff at a 50-50 split to the store. So when this item sells for five bucks, the store gets $2.50 and my other company gets $2.50. It's easier that way because all of this stuff was already owned by the company and a lot of it is still gonna be sold directly by the company in warehouse sales and uh, liquidation. So it was just easier that way. So there's very few items that the store owns. The store owns this grilling stuff here on the bottom shelf. The store owns this, all this jewelry and that jewelry. And then, you know, a few random trinkets on here. Everything else is owned by uh, my other company, which is a corporation. So we are open, no customers. Had a couple of sales, 25 bucks this morning. So that's 1.25% of the total I spent on the store crazy 25 bucks anyways um i did the back area here i'm gonna put a full-size printer there i got the phone hooked up this is all set up back here i uh, got one bag stand we're still doing jewelry but uh she left to go check on her dog uh which she had to take to the vet this morning um so i figure i've got a lull also my computer crashed my brand new computer that i bought last week already crashed gave me the blue screen of death it's re automatically restarted after that screen came up and it's updating so hopefully that's just a simple issue but since i'm dealing with that i can show you the store we sold some of the bed sheets already uh and a puzzle there you can guess what size puzzle it was um, and then there's something sold while I was gone. I don't remember what she said it was. Um, but it's all cleaned out. I've got my cart back here. Hopefully no one steals it. But I don't have the truck here to take it back to the warehouse. She's been sweeping for the past, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. Because there was so much dust on the floor. So anyways, uh... That's, that's really about it. I bought the Elvis bag that was originally up here because, well, I already explained that. Grandmother, big Elvis fan. I don't think she would really want any of this stuff. She's not really a puzzle person and the uh, coins probably wouldn't do much for her, but I'm going through and pricing some of this stuff here. Store owned inventory. It was already priced, um, but we were just doing the, uh, the roundabout way where similar to how we do with the vendor items with the handwritten tags. So I'm doing that now. Looks like the computer's back up and running. I also got cookies. Um, this crate I listed, this I brought from the warehouse. I actually used it to carry some stuff here. Oh, and fun fact, my Dymo Twin Turbo is already junk. It uh, labels jammed up almost instantly and a part of the printer is sticking out. When you take this front piece off, a part of the printer, a little plastic piece is sticking out from that wheel. Brand new, so I'm gonna send that back to Amazon and get a new one. This will suffice for now. My $20 pawn shop purchase. So it is Wednesday now. Didn't have much in sales yesterday. I think it was like 65 bucks, but we didn't advertise at all. That's just people who happen to walk in. We're gonna start advertising today. I've got this all set up. I even bought a lock for it. Because of the way this is set up, you can't put a regular lock on it. So this actually has a ball, like 
one of these that goes in there and it clamps on and then you gotta unlock it with a key. I'm sure you could easily break this off with a hammer if you really hit hard enough. Most, even the $100 trailer locks, this is like 40 bucks. The $100 ones, those, the reviews are pretty much the same. I mean, you could even take these bolts off and put a different end on it. But if someone's that determined to steal my $250 sign, I'll let them have it. Um, so anyways, this is set up, ready to go. I'd like to put a little further back on the lawn there, but I don't know if I'm allowed to. So, um, look at that. I don't have any letters. Anyways, um, so it's double-sided. It will light up if I plug it in, but there's no place to plug it in, so I'm just gonna leave it. It'll look nice, and that will draw people here.